Hi, I'm Rob with DRS. In this video, you'll learn how to assemble and stage your Watchmaster IP Ultra camera. Normally, we'd assemble the camera at the installation site, but for this demonstration, we're assembling it here in the lab, and we'll attach the camera to a wall mount. Your Watchmaster IP Ultra includes a camera base, a top hat, a cable gland, and associated hardware. Refer to the user manual for a complete list of the tools you'll need. Let's start by going over the connections on the camera. The Ethernet connection provides power and network connectivity when using the camera in a Power over Ethernet, or PoE, configuration. The BNC connector is utilized for analog video output. Use the RS-485 receptacle for Pelco D connections. Then you have a 4-pin receptacle for either AC or DC power. Detailed information on the applicable connections can be found in the Watchmaster IP Ultra user manual. Now let's go through the assembly process for a PoE configuration. Starting with the cable gland, you'll see that you have one hole in the middle that can be pierced for an Ethernet or analog cable and several smaller holes for your RS-485 or power cables. Using a Phillips head screwdriver or similar tool, pierce the center of the cable gland. There we go. Now, unscrew the electrical nut and slide the O-ring over the threaded side of the cable gland. We have an Ethernet cable ready to go. It's highly recommended that shielded Cat5 cable be used for installation to protect against any electronic interference. Feed the Ethernet cable through the convex side of the electrical nut, through the top hat, And finally, through the threaded side of the cable gland. Give yourself about five inches of cable. Now, we'll tighten the cable gland onto the cable. Grip the flange with the pliers. Then, tighten the compression nut with an open end wrench until it's medium tight. About eight inch pounds of torque should do it. Now, slide the cable gland into the top hat until it's snug. And secure the cable gland to the top hat with the electrical nut. For this demonstration, we've skipped ahead and have already attached the RJ45 connector to the ethernet cable. Plug it into the top of the camera. Next, attach the top hat to the camera body. Now, let's move over to our wall mount. First, hook the camera to the strain relief wire on the mount. This will take the weight of the camera. Then, line up the three screw heads in the top hat to the holes in the mount. Lift the camera and rotate it to the right until it clicks into place. Next, tighten the three screws in the access mount to secure the camera. That's it. The Watchmaster IP Ultra is mounted and ready to go. Thanks for watching. 